What are you drinking, Brian? What were you talking to me about? No, 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 no. You ever seen those, uh... Um... Dang it. Uh, damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we need to check the recording? Get the whole world in his hands. Jeez, oh man. Chaz McGillicuddy. Code open. Bar Trail Cluggins. That's fine. Welcome to the XYZ Podcast. I am your millennial producer, Tony. Joining me, as always, are Gen X Brian. Hello, everybody. And Gen Z Winston. (laughs) What it do? (laughs) Every time Uh, I try and imitate Winston imitating me. Yeah. Yeah. Good 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 impression. Yeah, good good evening, fellas. Welcome. Um, I need to start out. It right. is a Friday. I need to start out like the newspapers, though. Uh, you know, when they screw up a story and then they they print a correction somewhere. Um, and nobody reads. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what the what that what the glaring omission was or the error. But in the, in my case, I would like to check my facts. I I misstated that Ferris Bueller changed his grade when actually he changed his number of attendance or a uh, number of uh, truancies. <laughs> If I was listening to a podcast and I heard somebody say that Ferris Bueller went in and changed his grades, I would be yelling at my radio going, he changed the times he was absent. I mean, that's a whole part of the movie, but I can't really talk to Winston about it. Yeah. Tony, have you seen Ferris Bueller? Not that not, not. I have. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I haven't seen it enough to catch that mistake, but right. it is always funny to go back and peek behind the curtain here. Ryan edits our show. Um, I, I do listen to the show myself. It's always funny to go back and listen and yell at yourself for getting something wrong. <laughs> Yo, what a freaking idiot, me. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're so narcissistic. We love sitting down and just listen to ourselves talk for an hour. Well, I think it's, yeah. The, well, it's not, it's not enough that we talk about it. We have to go back and hear ourselves talk about it. Yeah. So we can correct ourselves. That's true. It really is a different experience from recording. To sitting and down listening, and listening. Right? Yeah. It's a completely true. different experience doing it. I know Tony and I talked about number of Super Bowl wins. Got to make sure that's accurate. You get some Steelers <laughs> fans ac- after you or. Uh, that's it. You can't know. lose my street cred there. Yeah. yeah. Right. What, what little uh, I have. So <laughs> so it's a Friday. What are you what are you guys drinking? I got I'm s- got the old faithful. Blurbin. Blurbin. If you blurbin. hold it up to the screen, it is indeed blurbin. <laughs> oh, it's actually not blurred today, which is insane. There, oh, there it is. Partially blurred. Right, I got a. Tony? I got a. Sp- Simply spiked lemonade is the first thing I found in my fridge. I just grabbed it. <laughs> That's great. And what I does got... Winston have? So, okay. So before I start this, again, this visual podcast. Have you guys ever seen those TikTok video of like Korean convenience store drinks? You ever seen those? <laughs> the one where everything's in a cup already and you just mix it? It's sort of. You get a cup of ice and then you just buy a baggie full of like random stuff that you can just dump in. The... I Same wish idea. they did that here because that looks that like... incredible because it's just right. like just here's something that we made up go ahead and try that yeah so I would, that's awesome. what i have that's what i have today sort of like a a makeshift version of it i have a cup of ice a can of it's gonna get real penisy here mike's mike's harder green apple that's, that's <laughs> like to call it um, i think you bought some of the gas station uh supplements that's what that sounds like that's what that's what it does sound like right <laughs> mike's hard penis you think mike is just out here selling like Mike is re- retiring. All, Mike is retiring all the way to the bank, man. I think people I know, love right? his hard lemonade. Okay. Why I don't? Wonder... Yeah. Why isn't their slogan? We're so hard. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what's their What's their slogan right here? Let me see. Uh, Mike's heart. So is prison. Don't drink <laughs> until you are twenty one. Oh, that's not a slogan oh, that... at all. <laughs> Wait, that's what it says. <laughs> oh, no, no way. Mean. That's what that can says. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what it says right here. Well, Mike's, Mike's heart is hard. Is. So is prison. Don't drink until you're 21. And it doesn't. It also say, says, "Don't drop the soap." That's exactly where I was going. I mean, that otherwise, was... you'll see Mike's hard penis. <laughs> anyway, hold on, ASMR. Let me see if I can no, make a this is crack not... sound. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit! <laughs> First, okay, hold on. Number one, since nobody could see, pretty sure that just got all over Winston. Looked like it, it went all over your shirt. Number Mike's, two, your Mike's noise gate all gave us. Me nothing we heard nothing so you made a mess and the audience didn't get to see or hear any of it insert insert a can opening sound yeah and And a scream and then and then like yeah then the sound of a bucket of water being dumped on so much (laughs) it's the aos asl challenge what a great freaking start to this (laughs) oh geez yeah so wait so you you referenced the asl challenge we, yeah. We've talked about mm. Facebook challenges before. That was the one where people would stand in wherever they were and then dump a bucket of cold water over their head, right? Yeah, isn't it's it was for um a good purpose though. 
what was it what? awareness for exactly ALS. Clearly, clearly it did it yeah. <laughs> which stands for <laughs> I don't know. That's what yeah, I'm saying. See, yeah. how does that work? That's like, I, I look at that as the same way, like when people like hashtag causes, how well, was that? It wasn't no, raising no, money because, or was it well, raising money? It was, yeah, it was raising money and it was a little bit of both. It was, um, it's so apparently the feeling of dumping a bucket of ice cold water over you make you temporarily feel paralyzed for a second. I think that's what the idea was. No, so I think he's, he's making down. that up. He's making, I don't know. No? You can fact check yeah. me. It would be, it would be cold shock. So, Called ALS, yeah. which stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also better known as Lou Gehrig's, Lou Gehrig's disease, disease, right, mm. is a nervous system disease that weakens muscles and impacts physical function. So dumping a bucket of ice water over your head and putting oh. your system into shock may simulate momentarily the same symptoms. That's so what that okay does See, make sense. They needed better PR back then because when I was seeing everybody do it on Facebook and even being challenged myself, I was like, I don't why? I mean, because it's Who funny. Who challenged I mean, you? <laughs> uh, a friend. That was the thing. Like, I can't remember mm -hmm. if I was tagged on Facebook or if somebody, you know, that was the thing. Like, you would do it and then you would tag people in your post and say, hey, Winston, you but, know, I challenge you to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge to where you would then try and up up your production value of dumping a bucket of water over your head. My my whole gripe against that whole thing is why do regular people have to do it? I feel like it should just stay as a celebrity thing where people would like clout. Well, kind of I mean, come on, because when well, like you were supposed to you were supposed to do it and make a donation towards right, a charity just, for that's it. That's what I'm saying. It's just like a regular like nine to five Joe is not going to donate money towards the AOS, you know, charity. Well, a lot I of don't know. Donate towards charities. What year? What year was that? Because I'm surprised you even know about that. 2013, 2013, 2014. That was when Vine was around, I think. You saw it on Vine? I think so. Vine or now, Instagram. Now, remind me, were you a Facebook user or were yes, you too young? I was a you child were. on Facebook. I wasn't How supposed old? to be 13. I was 13 okay. when I was on Facebook, which is in today's standards pretty normal. But I, oh, I lied. Man, ALS? listen to th listen to this. Oh, sorry. Oh, Tony's got right, more ALS. Before you, before you go it. on, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was started in the summer of 2014. I oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, before you before you even go further, Brian. Wait, does your <laughs> thing have to do anything with AOS or no? Uh, no, with okay. Facebook. Have you guys ever seen the the Fifty Cent AOS challenge video? No. Oh, rapper okay. Fifty Cent. Yes. Hold on. Oh, Fifty okay. Cent. Visual podcast, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, this is it's getting bad out here. Let me just show you that clip real quick, and it was mainly towards Floyd Mayweather. We all know who Floyd Mayweather is, right? Boxer. Boxer yes, right? cannot read. He does not know how to read. He is a illiterate person. I do vaguely remember this then. Okay. Yep. This is a special A-S-L-E-L-S -E challenge for you, <laughs> Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry Potter book, then I'll give 750000 to whatever charitable organization you want to. Fuck the bucket of ice, man. I Boy. thought that was so funny. It was, he it was, was an angry man. Yeah. He's very angry. <laughs> Now he's laughing all the way to the bank, though, because of uh, he had a lawsuit on his hands. Who is he suing? Oh, see, this is where research would come in handy. Who, 50 uh, Cent? Yeah. He made a lot of money off of doing an album and getting paid in Bitcoin. I think that was him. <laughs> How's that working out for him? <laughs> no, he was rich for a moment. I don't know if he sold his Bitcoin already, but this is like at the peak of Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's a Bitcoin millionaire. This is back in... It's like saying uh, I have a lot of real estate in the metaverse. That doesn't really mean anything to me. <laughs> 50 Cent settles lawsuit against Miami Spa over alleged penis surgery insinuation. That's oh, right. That's right. So, a, so, yeah, somebody somebody implied that he had that and he sued them and he well, won because it was not true, I guess. The one the one I saw was uh, apparently he tossed a microphone at a fan and injuring them. Yeah. And then, I read and then this headline said Ja Rule criticized 50 Cent for injuring fans. <laughs> Ja Rule thinks at a time like this, nigga. This is ridiculous. You want to go back to whatever you're where you were going, Brian, with Facebook. Right. Read an article today that Facebook has been using everyone's posts to train their AI. So oh, anything yikes. that people had posted on, they were just feeding it to the AI machine and ingesting and teaching their AI with that. Because basically, when you you know, sign up for Facebook. I'm sure there's fine print that says anything you print on here, we can pretty much do whatever we want with it. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Is that in the terms of service or are we about to get 
all are, is everybody about to get two dollars and fifty three cents in a giant class action lawsuit? Because <laughs> they might once uh, once they use something that generates a picture that looks a little bit too much like somebody. The message they put out there, like yes, but we didn't do any direct messages or you know posts like that, like direct direct messages to people. We we as just if we the, would ever know. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just the stuff that you posted publicly was, for everyone to hear or see. Was this was this when they announced the um the AI that resembled the celebrities? Have you seen that? That was I that saw one where it was like Kendall Jenner is an AI. Like it's it's weird. Yeah. We can soon have all AI avatars of ourselves, right? That was the new <laughs> thing that they 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 were scanning, like the high risk scanning of the faces to have like avatar meetings in cyberspace the metaverse the metaverse yeah cyberspace yeah. sounds so dated like when when people were using cyberspace it sounded dated at the time but you know it sounded sound... cooler than no metaverse. it's not to me to then me it's metaverse? Oh, the metaverse i don't know no, i no, guess no, because we're, we're all we're all still surfing the net brian yeah, yeah that's true in cyberspace <laughs> this is the old net we're gonna get the new net soon the 3.0 net yeah internet 3.0 yeah, yeah. Everyone's, everyone's waiting for the update yeah, isn't that the isn't that the <laughs> then where does the Internet of Things like that sounded cool? Then I realized all that means is that you're hooking up your refrigerator to Twitter. That's the Internet of Things. You That's know, like, and you like light bulbs two point and... two point five. Yeah. <laughs> is that it? yeah, I don't know. Three is where we jump into the uh, the metaverse. <clears throat> Speaking of jumping into the metaverse, holy crap! Have you seen the footage coming out from the U two Sphere shows? Yes, yeah, it's freaking sick. Saw yeah. them turn the, the sphere into a pumpkin. Oh, I saw that too. Yeah, and it's, then yeah, I saw the such outside a emoji. Weird freaking thing. Yeah. Totally weird. But the did stuff you... from the U two shows is unbelievable. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Did you um? Did you hear how much it costs a day to do an advertisement on the Sphere? <laughs> no. It's four hundred fifty thousand dollar a day to run a, an advertisement. Wow. They got to pay yeah. for all those little tiny light bulbs, man. Yeah. Their electric bills got to be through the roof. <laughs> we should save four hundred and fifty k and promote our podcast. Maybe yeah. We'll on on listening. on the Sphere on the outside of the yeah. Sphere. It's just Tony's face. <laughs> Please no. overlooking all of Vegas. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But oh. the uh what what I'm enjoying is is the fact that suddenly people are remembering that U2 was indeed awesome and one of the greatest <laughs> bands in the world. Everyone's going, oh yeah, they still exist. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, they used to be awesome. Because <laughs> or if I, you're what, like Winston, you're going, who's that? That's a band. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was the free album on Apple Music. Exactly, exactly. And and what's funny is because this has been coming out stories about their their performance at the Spear and every the the Spear, the Spear. <laughs> it's the Britney Spear <laughs> in Vegas. Um, I've noticed that there are people like acknowledging that they used to be awesome and i totally think that if you were not alive for the first awesome part and you did join midstream free uh you itunes album that yeah people are like u2's lame so i feel a little bit uh not vindicated but at least at least i was not talking out of my rear when i was telling you that u2 used to be one of the biggest bands in america and or in the world and people loved them i'm telling you yeah. gun to my head <laughs> sing one <laughs> lyric of u2 there's no way. I I don't know one singular U2 song. No, because you if, you if, can't... if you heard some of them, you would recognize them. You might not so. know off the top of your head, but. OK, maybe. But maybe you know why? Maybe I would know it because when I would plug my iPhone into the car, <laughs> it would automatically play the first U2 song. <laughs> that was the That's first probably album the, the only queue. way. But yeah, like I mentioned before, I've never I, I couldn't tell you a song off that album. But yeah, they're playing they're playing their album in whole and then kind of like a bunch of greatest hits. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know that I'd ever be able to afford to go to a concert there. I was like three. I think you're looking at three or four hundred dollars a seat at at minimum. I mean I'm that's sure. an average like K-pop concert price. I would be willing to. Well, but that's that's not counting how much you would spend on like air, airplane tickets. Yeah, to get to hotel. Vegas and then hotel yeah. and then yeah. you know all that stuff's usually pretty cheap though to Vegas. Yeah, but your flight to Vegas is cheap. You get a cheap hotel because you're expecting you to spend money on everything else. You stay at the cheapest motel you can find. <laughs> Wait, still, that's got to be a couple hundred bucks. I mean, yeah. you, you know, we're looking we're looking at a multi. You know, your ballpark six hundred to eight hundred dollar for. I was going to say a thousand bucks to to. You, you really know, think so? Know. Could be right. I mean, four hundred dollar concert ticket, three hundred dollar flight. Uh, however flight much hotel here, Brian. <laughs> 50 bucks and they'll strap me to a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Front you, can, you can Atlanta stay. Vegas is, you is can stay bucks. at Circus Circus for 68 bucks a night. Yes. They probably have bed bugs, but I mean, <laughs> but you I mean, say I, I you just, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you though, I'll tell you though, if Britney Spear, Britney Spear at the Sphere would sound, it's such a dope concert name. 
if she wasn't so spears cuckoo, at the sphere yeah, yeah. Is it the sphere? The sphere? Yeah. it's real hard to say but yeah. it does sound freaking call cool. me people that run the sphere i got she, some ideas for you she already she's did not Vegas mentally capable she's enough there. or yeah. allowed by her parents out that way <laughs> well, no 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 she, i'm not she sure won, which it she is won the anymore lawsuit. no she won the lawsuit is she yeah. yeah, she's free. She's yeah, but I she did her Reagan Re, Reagan Vegasy, her Wait, Vegas what? residency. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that far in for it. I know, I'll don't call you. <laughs> it's no, I mean, I yeah, no, it's it's been a it's been a harried evening to get to where we are right now. <laughs> I I feel like we could say it every time, but it's been a week. It's been yeah, a week. Been a it week has been a week. And I'm, I'm certain that, yeah, everybody can sit down and say it's been a week, man. No, but back yeah. to Spe- Spears of the Sphere. <laughs> have, you, have you seen what she looked like recently? Uh, only, again, I don't seek out pop culture news. Yeah. I mean, it comes across my eyeballs. There was yeah. there was concern that she was dancing on Instagram with some knives. Do I yes. know why? Uh, no, nope, don't care. Like She got like she got like a low low rise thong. I, well, I mean, that's what made her popular, explain. right? No, I think it was like, the high rise thong that made oh. it popular. <laughs> yeah, right. Like the thong is supposed to go up, but it's like to the side. It's weird. I don't know. She's didn't she take like a bunch of weird topless pictures too? Yeah. That did she was in the news hear, for. Did you hear her kid got bullied for it at school? I mean, come on, your mom's Britney Spears. I'm not surprised. Anyway, yeah, I don't think she's all there to be able to run a whole concert at the Sphere, but but she did. Yeah, she did a Reagan again. Reagan Vegas. Reagan, is yeah, Reagan. Vegas, Vegas residency. residency. Adele, I believe, is finishing up hers. I mean, that seemed to be the thing. Like these older musicians yeah. that don't want to tour, they're like, I set up my set and I'll do the show night after night after night and collect yeah. a big chip paycheck. I did want to see Adele. Like Adele concert looked freaking cool. When have you seen clips from it? Yeah. I mean, she yeah. she, you know, she's she's chilling. She's doing what you know, the the the, the I'm just gonna stop saying residency. Vegas, Vegas residency. Right, yeah. All right. Re- <laughs> residencies yeah speaking of meta just to circle back speaking of meta and um and facebook so i i'm pretty sure i've broken my algorithm for um for my facebook page yeah um you're you getting denture advertisements sort of. or what do you okay like... what do you what do you call what do you call like the tiktoks that's on on, on facebook i don't i don't use it because it's for old people okay um, reels is instagram. reels is instagram okay here's here's the old folks explainer hour reels are the movies that play on instagram uh-huh TikToks are just clips from TikToks. TikToks or TikToks. Vines, just rest in peace. Story? <laughs> be, I right. think it might be. Clearly, I'm looking at my. I'm looking Facebook. at the page. I'm looking at my Facebook right now because we were asking about it. But no, it it's literally be... just called videos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the video on Facebook. So a while back, India banned TikTok across a, their country. Right. So I think people in India decided to flock to Instagram and Facebook to make TikTok content, mm. and one of those content. <laughs> are street food videos and i uh, it's weird i don't like watching it but it's almost like watching a train wreck i can't look away from it so i keep watching it and it's it's just like the street food look good but it's just so dirty and i keep watching it every time it's i always love watching them and they're just just putting their whole arm into the freaking pot and just stirring (laughs) it so i don't i don't watch elbows deep I don't it's watch great. food videos, but so you're saying that people like tourists like go to India? And no, no, not food? tourists. No, no, no. It's the local. It's oh, the okay. Local there, they they go and record street vendors. I'm guessing those up. street vendors do not have food scores posted <laughs> at the front I, of their I would cards. doubt it. I would doubt it. <laughs> but I keep watching them. I would. I think I watched like maybe one or two video, and now like every time I open Facebook and I click into like the video <laughs> session, I get. A 100% chance I get at least two or three Indian street food video. You must and have it's... lingered on a vi- on a street food video for, for what they deemed. And they're like, boom, this guy, Winston's profile. He loves it. Yeah. He loves Got the him. street food. Give him more street yeah. food videos. Exactly. And it's like the Indian guys shoving their arm and the rice up to their elbows. <laughs> just just <laughs> grabbing the food, bare hands, no wash, no glove, no nothing. I'm like, give it to me. That's that's what I like to see in my, my Indian street food video. Indian street um, food. Yeah. And so then it leads me to this question. So. When I look up a food recipe, um, did you Google Vietnamese... Indian street food recipes? <laughs> no, for, for Vietnamese food. Sometimes ah, okay. I like to, yeah, I live on my own. Sometimes I like to make Vietnamese food. So I'm like, let me look it up. Let me and ask you a question. Like... Is there a lot of Vietnamese or is, yeah, is there a lot of Vietnamese street food? Yes, there's a ton. 
we can we can really have a whole conversation about street food. Yeah. Well, so so in the so like the food truck revolution came to America. That's the closest mm-hmm. we have in the metropolitan areas to street food, right? Yeah. And then there was crackdown on that. I don't know where there's tons of street food in the United States. Tony's making a New face. York, like, uh, New York and Philly, man. Yeah. I've never That's like one of the York first City. thing I think of is like the hot dog cart. Hot dog cart. The yeah. Corner, oh, okay. Dirty right. water dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dirty water dog. <laughs> well, they're known because you can't have an open flame, but you yeah. can boil yeah. a hot dog. That's and true. that's what they're known as. I'll right. tell you this, I'll sit tell you in this, hot dog water all day. Boiling a hot dog is better than grilling a hot dog. I am a firm depends, believer. Depends on the mood you're in, but I I will good I would go for both. That's, okay, so okay, so the hot dog juice, chef kiss. I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt you before you continue because we're on hot dogs and 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 <laughs> probably something gross. There's a place in in Johnstown called Coney Island, and they make Coney dogs. Um, but the joke always is you go in, you order like eight Coney dogs or something. You know, it's a hot dog with chili sauce and mustard and onions and stuff on it. Well, they'd make them and they'd put the buns and they'd line them up their arm to put oh, the geez. hot dogs in. But these people are standing over an open grill, like a flat top grill. So they're just sweating. Oh, God. And the joke always was, was the further towards the armpit your hot dog was, <laughs> the better that the better that hot dog oh, was. Maybe, so maybe, maybe that's the secret ingredient to these. Yeah, Indian the secret like, food, like, right? like Brian's famous porcellos. You got that little sog. Yeah. You got yeah. a little yeah. bit of sog on that bun and it just added a little extra spice, you know? So Co- Coney Island, the, the Coney Island, as everybody knows, is in Brooklyn, right? Like is the it? Coney I Island. I've never been is, to New York. I thought is, Coney Island was its own thing. Right, it's, but I believe it's, it's part in, of it's in New, New York, York City. Yes. Yeah, okay. So these were Coney Island style the dogs name, in Pennsylvania. With the name of the, the restaurant juice. is Coney Island in downtown. <laughs> okay, downtown. gotcha. Yeah. Some um, displaced New Yorkers made their way to Pennsylvania, and well, a Coney dog is a thing. But right. they made they they were famous for making these chili dogs and a thing called a sundowner, which was a burger with their chili sauce, onions, mustard, and a fried egg on that it. Sounds so freaking good. Delicious. You think they'll put the buns between their armpits before they serve it to you? The they might. Between they the might. Buns. They might sop. They might. They might mop their brow with it if you ask. <laughs> See, there's again food scores, man. So my brother has has worked in kitchens for a good portion of his life and is very familiar with the food scores. And he told me point blank, he's like, "Yeah, you don't really want to go in anywhere lower than a 90. There are a lot of things like, you know, like, okay, the seal is coming off on the refrigerator, so it's not tight of a seal. That's five points. And you you have a lot of things that are sort of not going to endanger your health before you get into like, you know, storing raw meat on a garbage can lid, which, you know, happens in some places. But So anything, anything below a 90, I should avoid? He said you should really think about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've all eaten places you know, in places with food scores lower than 90. I was, was yeah, going to say, I was gonna say and I feel like Tony places. would agree with me. 75 rating on a Yee! tiny spot. The Baby. best food you will ever <laughs> no, have. It was, it was a 3.5 stars. It doesn't matter. Same thing. 3.5 <laughs> no, stars. No, 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 no. I'll take a no, 3.5 no. stars. You got to show up. You're going to you gotta show up. You're going to show up at the Chinese place. And you're going to see a little kid in the corner doing algebra. You know it's going to hit. Do I get to tell another drunk story? Kid. And, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. And and you go up to the counter. You start ordering. And you look at the menu. And it's all faded and yellow. And the light is flickering behind the, the little food thing. And the guy that's taking your order have a Coke nail. That's the place you want to eat at. And they've got That's... new taped on prices. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. yes because I know they're what too you're talking cheap about. to replace the price board. Oh, yeah. It's going to be the best food you will ever have. I'm telling you, you could order $7 worth of Chinese food and they will fill it to the brim because nobody else is eating it except for you. And See, it's going to be the best food you will ever have. There was a there was a Chinese place in Johnstown that got shut down because they found the staff was living there and sh- like <laughs> bathing themselves in the dishwasher sink. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah, I already know the food slap. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, it was the place to go, man. My uh, brother swears that he left the dentist office once and went to a Chinese buffet, threw up, and he swears that they scraped it up, put it in a tray, put it on the buffet. Oh, God. Uh, there's no way, but no, what a great story. He was, no. Oh, my gosh. It should be I shut down like podcast is going to get banned in China for this yeah. bit right here. <laughs> go on. Go on with your, uh, you were talking about. Lo- yeah, um, recipes. Vietnamese recipes. Yeah. That was a weird detour that we took there. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I guess because my knowledge of street food in America is 
hot dogs, slices of pizza. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Right. But you, th- yeah. you're talking about these videos where you got, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff being made on the streets yeah. of India or Vietnam. Vietnam. It's, and that's what I was going to say. It's very similar. It's always going to be a guy or a woman pushing a cart. And <laughs> well, just sell one thing. What it would, else is it, it going to be? Well, it's going to be it's going to be a tiny little cart, but it would have the everything dog. on it. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> before before I go into this recipe thing, there was a video. It was a Vietnamese guy selling. It's almost like a hot dog stand, but he sell other stuff like fish ball, pork balls, all this stuff that he fried. Pork balls. Oh, the yeah. dude with the lighting people cigarettes and stuff. No, that's that's an Indian guy. That's okay, different. that that's guy also, was super that's, stylish. That's, that's one super of our stylish. favorite guy. Uh, we'll we'll get into him in a bit. But the uh, do you remember the video I show you where it was a guy on a it was a Vietnamese guy on a moped, and on the back of his moped he has a freaking gas stove built mm-hmm. into his moped. That's that's the type of street food I'm talking about. You get it fresh made, and it's 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 gonna kill all of the bacteria that's on the food. Sure, <laughs> that's how that's that's how science sure. works. Right? Yeah, yeah. But Vietnamese people never dip their elbow into the food which is good enough for me who dips but, their elbow into food ever indian street food they dip their whole arm in there it's elbows deep yeah anyway i feel like it's it's coming off like i'm very racist against indian people i'm not i would eat the food if it wasn't so dirty that's all i'm saying but <laughs> but anyway back to what i was trying to say is i was looking at some vietnamese food recipe and i realized that the best recipe are the ones that are written in vietnamese for vietnamese people so when I was reading them and I was so wait, you're food, so you're looking up what did you type in the Google? I would just <laughs> type whatever meal I'm looking for, okay, recipe, and then follow by Vietnamese. Is, okay. And then no, I would scroll no until food. I find a link in Vietnamese and then I'll click on it. Gotcha. Yeah. That's how you know it's authentic. So then when I was reading the Vietnamese recipe, I realized there's a lot of localization of the way the recipe is prepared. I, I think I saw something once like it's like one CF. What the hell is a one CF? And then I Google it, and it turns out to be one coffee spoon. And I was like, okay. Cool. CF. Oh, that doesn't translate to coffee spoon. I CS? Don't know. CF. CFS? I don't know. Something along that line. Coffee My spoon. memory is real haze. Um, I, it then made me question. It's like, I would watch these Indian street food video. When they cook, it's always, okay, you do a spoon of this, say like a spoon of paprika, and then you just wrap a handful of salt and pepper and then throw it into the food. So do they say They're, that in the like, recipe? So, that's what that's my question, right? So when you look at a if you're Indian and you're looking at a recipe for Indian food, is it localized to the point where it's like, well, we all cook with our hands. So is it three pinch of salt that you throw in the food here? Or is it like three tablespoon or three teaspoon? And then you're supposed to make an estimate of how many pinch that is. Okay, so here's here's gonna be the the <laughs> ignorant American questions. I have I've got I have an questions. educated answer but okay okay. i'll I'll ask the i'll ask the dumb questions and Mm -hmm. you ask the educated or you you give the educated answer first of all does vietnam use the metric system or the imperial whatever whatever the european use the metric metric. is miles right no that would be imperial kilometers would be okay okay yeah (laughs) yes the metric system winston's american schooling is showing yeah (laughs) what about india also would we use the metric system yeah right for the record when I was in oh maybe sixth grade, I had an economics teacher, econ teacher, who assured me that in years to come we would be using the metric system. Yeah, that's a damn he said lie. that like like it would like America's the outlier. We're going to be using the metric system because it just makes more sense. They never did that. We're a I, bunch of stubborn units. Yeah, we're a bunch of stubborn, yeah. hard headed people yeah. from day one. Like yeah. we're going to change. What do you mean right. kilograms? It's pounds. Yeah. Pounds. Pounds. Sure. Sure, that makes sense. You move the decimal. No, no, no. We have a much more complicated way to do it than that. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. One gram of onion powder. Yeah. Drug are dealers pinch- are going, you guys are a bunch of morons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony, what's your what's your educated answer? Here's here's my guess. Like, I don't think in India you're going out and buying a cookbook. Oh, yeah. I think most recipes are probably being handed down verbally. So they're just being taught as they're made. Yeah. And they're being made to taste. Yeah. That's so, true. so Winston, do you, is your grandmother still alive? Yes, she is. <laughs> I have Lord. one, I have one grandma, grandparents left and it's my grandmother. Is she still in Vietnam? Yes. Next time you go there, uh-huh. stay in the kitchen with her. Like, oh, I, I feel stopped, like, no, no, no. My parents and all my aunts, 
stop letting her cook because she over seasoned <laughs> the fuck out of the food and they're just like this is too salty and she'll just curse at them uh, so they're like yeah you gotta stop going into the kitchen her eyes she smoke cigarettes bad. No, she doesn't. Oh, I was just wondering Maybe if that killed her salt receptor. Well, I was just wondering if that killed her salt receptor. No, no. <laughs> oh, they yeah. said that's a good question. So I think to answer your question fully, though, next time you're over there, you need to go in the, in the kitchen with who, the people that are cooking. Yeah, it seems to be like how the get yeah, us some first hand knowledge. It's not the same as seeing a, a street vendor cook. <laughs> that's they true. Cook with precision. It's like they know what they do yes. every I time. Need, they know Three. what they're doing. Precision. That's generous. <laughs> Yeah, three fourths of my forearm in gets the right amount. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's so funny watching those video. It's like you have a spoon, you can stir with the spoon. Nope, but no, nope, nope. you yeah. have to hold the spoon and then dip your arm into the pot <laughs> and then stir it. It's also yeah. the same type of people where they're like they're touching things. You're like you should. There's no way you should be touching that. That's way too hot. But they've just yeah. burned all of the pain receptors in their yeah. hands. It's insane. Oh yeah, day in day out. Yeah, I joke with my wife that she has asbestos hands because she can <laughs> she can hold things that are way hotter Ooh, than most, you know, like insane. emptying the dishwasher as soon as it's done, like, you know, it's super hot silverware. She's <laughs> yeah. like, I got it. You know, I'm fine. Asbestos yeah. hand is so crazy. <laughs> I've got I've got a I've got a food related topic we can dive into. But first, yeah. I want to tell I mentioned this before. I have a street related story while we're talking about street food. Yeah, I have no right. idea. Tony when comes else... from the mean streets of Johnstown, yeah. Pennsylvania. Well, this is far away. Well, not far away, but this is away from there. Um, I just don't know when else I would be able to bring this up. Were you a street vendor back in the day? <laughs> Me and my family are on vacation. We had went on vacation to Annapolis, Maryland. Maryland? Oh. What's in yes. Annapolis, Maryland? What does one go to Na- Annapolis, Maryland to visit? Couldn't tell you because I don't remember what we did. <laughs> I just sort of remember it was not a great vacation. We're driving back home. We're stopped at a stoplight. Somewhere in Baltimore, as one does Baltimore or Annapolis again, somewhere somewhere in that Perfect area. Place to stop at, yeah. <laughs> and we're stopped at this stoplight, and we see this. Um, what uh, year? What year? So, uh, oh boy, I, 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 this I, has to be t- 2002, 2003, okay, somewhere around there. Thir- 13. Okay, I want to put in context. 14? I was yeah. still walking okay. around in diapers in 2002. <laughs> we see a um. Winston's incontinent. Oh, <laughs> we see a a house impaired gentleman. Oh, uh, a homeless um, guy. A hobo. An urban an urban outdoorsman is what. Yes. Is. <laughs> yeah, he's he's camping in the city. Mm-hmm. He sits down with all of his earthly belongings at a bus stop, and there's nothing else going on. So we're stopped at the stoplight. My entire family is watching the one thing that's happening outside of our vehicle, and it's this man. Yeah. And he sits down with a cup of steaming something. I don't oh know if it was God. coffee, oh. if it was okay, tea, let's hope if it, it was, was just coffee. just just hot water. Could okay. have been just a cup of hot water. It was not whiz. Right. Two, no. cu- two girl, one cup? No, 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 okay. not that. But he he sits down, sets his cup next to him, opens it up, we see it steaming something. <laughs> he proceeds to he proceeds to take off his prosthetic limb. Oh god. Leg? He just takes off his leg. Um, How long was this stoplight? <laughs> it's a long stoplight, man. Uh, this man was also like he's on a he's on a mission. He's like, he had a purpose of what he was doing, but, which is which makes the just the, but it makes the story crazier because this was on, all intentional. So he sits down. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My head cannon is that the light had turned green, but your parents are so <laughs> estranged by what's happening, they just stopped. They didn't even leave. Let me just let me looking. finish this, okay, and you'll yeah, understand. Us, you yeah, also please. would have been I'm in trance. So confused. <laughs> okay. So confused. So this man sits down, opens <clears> his <throat> cup, takes his leg off. Great, great series of events. Takes his shoe and sock off of his other foot. Proceeds to take. The dirty sock from his real foot, dunk it in his cup. Shut up. And start drinking the cup. What Wait, does he know? He don't, what I does he swear know that we to don't... you this happened? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. My entire family is watching this in abject horror, going, What is going on? I think, I think and this is not his prosthetic time. legs, right? It's the sock that's on the regular foot. I, I'm not memory is not super clear on this. He took a sock off. At this uh-huh. point in time, matter. it doesn't matter. At this matter point, it doesn't one. matter what. But he, can, fact, he, he took a sock, sock off, ducked it, drank or... his dirty sock water. At that point in time, <laughs> the light turned green. We started moving, and we all just looked at each other, going, "What have we witnessed?" <laughs> he was just 
God, God forbid, God forbid a man from brewing tea from his sock. Come on, guys. It was it, it, he was he was homeless. Yes. He had to do something. I've never. It was just the series of events, and again, it was all. It wasn't like, hmm, what should I do? This is interesting. Maybe this combination. It was an intentional series purpose. of events. Sit down, open the cup, take my leg off, take my sock off, make sock tea. <laughs> Did you see him drink said sock tea? Yes. <laughs> We saw him put his sock. It's, it's his 5 p.m. ritual, Brian. Or, or, yeah. a real leg or not, put it in the cup that was steaming and proceed to drink from the cup. Oh, my gosh. Was, We're going to need a... signed affidavits that this actually happened because yeah. this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I I have a hard time believing. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm <clears> saying this is crazy. This is one of those things that you would witness to be like, I can't believe I just saw that. It was it was no his one, afternoon yeah, ritual. Like, no he has believe. to find a bus stop, sit down, take his prosthetic legs off, and then enjoy his <laughs> cup of socks tea. Uh, so, I, so now you see why I go, I want to tell the world this. Yeah, I have that's... no idea how to naturally segue into what i'm about to say you know what that reminds me of it reminds (laughs) me like an episode of mr bean like there was an there was an episode of mr bean where he quite literally put his sock full of tea and then dip it into some hot water i think if i remember correctly this has been a while but yeah that's what it reminds me of mr bean is english so he's yeah likely to make that's normal for him right (laughs) if we're gonna use prosthetic leg as a segue i've I've oh god (laughs) No, this is insane this is, this, segue. This is horrible. This is horrible. Buddy of mine uh, and I went to Chick Fil A for lunch one day, <laughs> and as we're walking into the restaurant, we see this big. Remember the Hummers, the H threes, those obnoxious. Mm-hmm. Like they were all over the place for a while. You don't see Just them much anymore. Any Hummer because but... they're all awful and big. Right, yeah. but this was the H three, the ones that were like finally available to consumers. So people were buying, you know, Hummers to make up for whatever the inadequacies H- they. I thought it was the H two. No. It was the, the H2? H2? The H2 okay, H2. Whatever, consumer, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever the consumer Hummer Hot was. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they started popping up all over the place. So we roll into Chick-fil-A. We're grabbing lunch and we're walking in. We parked, walk in, and in the in, in one of the handicapped spots, we see one of these Hummers sitting there. I don't see a placard in the window and I don't see it on the license plate number. And I make some comment about these people parking in the space because I'm like, that's, you know, like, that's not cool to park in a handicap spot. If you don't have, have a handicap spot, I make some snide comment. And as, as we're walking past this guy fl- opens up the door, grabs his prosthetic leg, pulls it off and holds it in the air and says, I can park here. And I am just, oh! <laughs> And then he threw his leg at Brian. <laughs> I, I had nothing to say. I was just, I was like stumbling over words, trying to say something. But as this guy is holding his leg, he's still sitting in the passenger seat, but holding his leg, he pulled it off his leg and held it up in the air. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my I God. Wanna, I, like, uh, 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 yeah, it was awful. It was horrible. Tony, I want to tell you why I find this funnier than it should be. <laughs> In my yep. head, in my head, I didn't see Brian doing it. I see it as an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, <laughs> and it's 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 whatever his yeah. name is, yeah, doing the same exact thing. Oh, oh freaking park here! <laughs> it's, it's Larry David. Oh, he was like, oh, oh freaking park here, and it's just a guy, yeah, just holding his prosthetic that's legs out. Totally, totally, what it was, and I was I was like absolutely shocked, and it happened years ago, but yeah, it was fully one of those moments where I was just like, oh my gosh. That's but it was, but like, and after the fact, you're thinking about it. You're like, well, dude, I was griping because I was afraid somebody was going to take the spot from someone like you who needs it. Like, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But you can't say anything anymore. He hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Point, that, the like, conversation's you know, over. Yeah. We yeah. were going to go sit down and eat. We're getting this to go quickly. <laughs> as fast as we can get the hell out of here. Because if I see that guy, I'm totally going to just you, yeah. walk. You walk out of a restaurant. You just see him putting his prosthetic legs back on. You know, at this point, this is the same friend of that I told the story about the the glass eyeball there's a weird theme oh, thread going through here you yeah. know the pawn shop with the glass eyeball in the in the brick mortar True. Yeah. weird weird chemistry friend yeah <laughs> yeah we could have done Speaking... a whole episode on like just prosthetic prosthetic stuff, right? limbs. <laughs> we could, yeah prosthetic <laughs> anything uh circle back around to um boogie nights. back here to uh yeah you guys haven't Street seen food? boogie nights <laughs> oh i don't know <laughs> i don't know what we're talking about <laughs> Has Tony seen Boogie Completely Nights? I know, derailed. I know, no, of course, of course. But in in the interest of bringing up movies that Winston has not yet seen, Boogie Nights is Boogie Night. The second one is Electric Boogaloo. Is that it? 
Am I right or am I right? <laughs> or am I wrong? You were so wrong and it's so <laughs> Boogie Night 2, Electric Boogaloo. I feel like that rolls off the tongue. It should be. It does. <laughs> but if you're if you're aware of the prosthetic that I'm referring to in Boogie Nights, oh. calling the sequel Electric Boogaloo is just funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay educate uh, me what is electric or... well we're now down a side street so Go i ahead. believe i've mentioned <laughs> tony shakes his head uh, it's, it's fine <laughs> so going good uh, we are now going down the side street of of an area that i have some i don't want to say authority but some experience in uh 1980s breakdancing movies <laughs> which is always a good segue we're using prosthetic limbs next one is 1980s breakdancing movies in the <laughs> You guys are both just like. <laughs> no, no, I I opened no my, reaction. I'm, so I'm, I'm doing research. Left. No, I'm doing research. I Google. I got Boogie you. Night. Boogie Nights I, is telling me 1997. Right. <laughs> but but do this, Tony. Do this, Tony. Type Boogie we... Nights two and see what comes up. <laughs> no, we can tie this back to Marky Mark. This is fantastic. Oh, okay. Go ahead. This, Boogie Nights is a movie from 1997 that dealt with, I think, the porn industry in the 1970s. And in that movie, there's a very specific prosthetic limb that is referenced and used in that movie. Won't get into that. Prosthetic penis? Yes. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Worn by your favorite actor, Marky Mark. Oh, Um, yes. The Vietnamese hater. Exactly. (laughs) Electric Boogaloo was the sequel to Breakin, Breakin 2 Electric Boogaloo, which was... (laughs) Which was a movie about breakdancing. So in the 1980s, breakdancing was becoming more than a fad, right? So mm-hmm. as as Hollywood tends to do, tries to cash in on the latest hip fad. So you had Breakin come out, which was... So if we're going for original movies, you had Wild Style and Beat Street, which were like two movies that dealt with breakdancing and that cultural movement that was going on that would eventually, you know, you know, blossom into hip hop and you know the it was the beginnings of hip hop again and it's funny i i feel like the old guy because i still want to call it like rap and break dancing but that's you know they, because it wasn't called hip hop at the time right. it grew it grew into that but um then you get like the cheesy like so wild style and beat street were more uh for lack of a better explanation more authentic representations of what was going on at the time then as hollywood gets in you have you have breaking uh-huh. With the n apostrophe, right? So you yeah. know, so you know, it's, it's not breaking with break a g. It. It's breaking. No, it's breaking. It's, with a, it's yeah. also not two words. It's not break in. No, it's yeah. breaking. It's breaking. Yeah. An apostrophe. Yeah. Okay. And then you have breaking two electric boogaloo. Breaking was okay, and then break breaking two was super cheesy Hollywood. How did we get here? I don't know. Prosthetic we wangs. About prosthetic. Yeah. Wangs. And you, yeah. Yeah. It, it, you, you mentioned Boogie Nights, and that's how Boogie we got Nights, here. Boogie Nights, Electric Boogaloo, Break, uh, Boogie Nights 2, Electric Boogaloo, I'm not sure. Winston derailed me, but I'm just going to go ahead and apologize right now for, for whatever side streets I just dead-ended this into. Wait, is your is your prosthetic wang conversation over? <laughs> Before, no, I have something that I want to bring up, but go, you might go, have to end. Go ahead. If, you if, might I have have a, if I had a you, soundboard, I, is your prosthetic <laughs> wang conversation over it would be one of the things that went on there. <laughs> Okay, well, I was gonna say you you might you you could possibly cut this out or you might have to, but there was uh, there was a there was a porn parody of Edward Scissorhand called Edward Penis Hand. Yes, didn't see it, t- but I've heard of it. <laughs> all ten of his fingers are penises. <laughs> Prosthetic wags. <laughs> it's we're, we're gonna have to title this episode "Keeping It Penisy" because yeah, that's, that's that we really have just kept. Yeah, well, consistently. We'll have to, I believe all my episodes. wife has all started with Mike on that word. Yeah, <laughs> my wife filed for the trademark on that. I believe she'll yeah. get fifty cents every time we mention something. Uh, <laughs> oh, every yeah. time we're we say the, the word term penis. Penis-y. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but we hilarious. were totally going somewhere, and I derailed it with a because boogie prosthetic nights. Wang. Prosthetic penises aside, Winston was indeed bringing up Vietnamese street food. We talked Just a lot of street food. food. Yeah, we talked a lot of street food. You mentioned going to the restaurant. Where the man shook his own leg at you out of the car. Oh, that's that's what it was. Yeah, it that's was where the it prosthetic was. limbs. That's so, where we went awry. Prosthetic limbs awry. I wanna I wanna see if anybody has any any weird food things that they ate growing up. For me, I definitely can can look back and go. We weren't super well off when I was very young, which is it's just how it was. But that did lead to eating things like cheese and ketchup sandwiches. Ooh. That's that's there was cheese, there, cheese and ketchup. That's not there was no combo. meat. It was, was it just like 
it was two pieces of plain white bread and a with slice a cheese. slice of craft singles and some ketchup, ketchup on it and that so, was lunch just but it wasn't you describing like a, it you describing it i can feel the bread sticking to the top of my oh mouth, yeah like my mouth like, so it, it wasn't it grilled immediately you didn't go, like, stuck to grilled your cheese on that yeah. there was no grilling involved it was just that I had a bunch of stoner friends in college that would occasionally eat bread with Taco Bell sauce packets <laughs> poured ah, on that's them. That's real. Yeah, that's but, real struggle uh, meal. Struggle meal for real. <laughs> so, so did you know that this was a, a struggle meal? As No, as and some of my examples that I had are not all super struggle meals. Some of them were just Tony's a little freak. Oh, God. And I would go to, I had, again, talked about my great grandmother's who's uh, allegedly house is haunted um, right i i would go over there and i would just be like hey can i just have like a handful of fake bacon bits and i have just eat bacos <laughs> bacon bits ba- or, so- or dry stovetop dry stovetop wow I would just it was just like oh, i was a favorite snack as a kid i love dry stovetop it's not bad but yeah no so- it's not it's good it's, it's like seasoned what croutons, stovetops? Man. Stovetops, stovetops is stuffing. a boxed stuffing mix that you would just you can make on the stove. You can actually oh. make it in the microwave. Okay. But I would just eat it dry. It was like seasoned croutons. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, that's what I was going to say. When I was a kid, I would grab a random bag of croutons in the pantry and just eat handfuls of it. Like it was chip. Listen, and to be fair, that just makes me think, I wonder if stovetop, like if you just put stovetop on a salad, It'd that might be good. fantastic. Yeah. That might be awesome. Yeah. Dude, you know how all the, all the all the juice brands are getting into alcohol? Stovetop yeah. needs to get into the crouton yeah, game. Salads. Oh, <laughs> Should we try game? that? I might have to try that. I might have yeah. to get a salad from somewhere, and I think sure I have a box great. of stovetop yeah. in my pantry. There's yeah. no, yeah, but then you're, you're, you know, it would be, it would be delicious. This, so the, this, this might just you... be. Let me, let me go through my list, and you tell me how how, how insane I am. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're, we're turning into one of those um, YouTube channels where they oh, try boy. different weird, weird combinations. Yeah. So um, you, you had those sandwiches. Did you think they were weird, or did you tell your friends you ate those things and they made fun of you? It wasn't a thing that I brought up in conversation because. I just wasn't thinking of it. I wasn't ashamed, but I was just right. I was just like, okay, I had lunch. I don't have to talk about what I had for lunch. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't did that you, well did you bring did you bring ketchup and cheese sandwiches to school? I did not. No. I had a lot of school lunches. My school lunches were pretty good. Right, mm. right. Oh, that's that a, that's a subject all, yeah, for another say, day. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say oh, we we'll can't say even that. get into yeah. I should add it to my list I'm, now, but yeah, yeah I'm su- I'm super curious school about school lunches. Uh, that's a great topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. other other things Vietnamese that I've written school down topics, here. Or school oh, yeah. topics. Vietnamese school lunches. That would be yeah, yeah right? would be interested in hearing that. No, for sure. Um I did occasionally make lunches for me and my brother. It got myself yelled at one time because I was making some lunch meat sandwiches for me and him. And I'm making like double meat sandwich. And I put like five or six slices of lunch meat ham on my sandwich. And he got like one or two. Oh, God. <laughs> and then I got, he's like, what are you, st- you, you used all the mean older brother. your sandwich? Your brother didn't get anything. I went, tell him to make his own freaking sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, and listen, if you're, if you're not going to put into work, you ain't getting a prize. Yeah. Subsequently, you know? Tony was never hired at Subway. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> nope. I do remember, I'm building up to, to one I do remember staying at my another one of my grandma's and my aunt toasting marshmallows over the gas stove. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think in summertime. Super normal. Yeah. Is it? OK. Yeah. I always just thought that was like ingenious, but a little weird. But I'll do okay, you one maybe better. not as weird. I'll do you one better. I try to do that with a Korean chopstick, which are like the metal ones. Oh, oh, that's not a good idea at all. <laughs> nope. yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. it heated up. Yeah, like, it's real hot on your finger. Out. Yeah, gosh, yeah. yeah. This one, I, I, this is a twofer. This is uh, one that you go, okay, that's normal, and one that's absolutely not normal. I vehemently dislike toasting a pop tart. You eat them unpopped, as I say. I am a pop tarts fiend. I I keep pop tarts at work for breakfast. Um, eat eat a lot of pop tarts through my life. I will not toast a pop tart. Do raw not like them that way. Yeah. Raw pop tart. I go raw. Yeah. <laughs> raw. Oh, <God. laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Just, I t- listen. You take it. You take it out of that protection. Eat oh, it raw. <laughs> <laughs> Something else I will not heat is a can of Chef Boyardee in any form. Oh, that's I've never had. That. I so gross. love cracking open a can of SpaghettiOs and eating them right out of the can off the oh, shelf. Oh, they're gross. so much better oh, than being so heated. Gross. And I oh, understand. Geez. I understand everyone's going. You're just you're a little, you're a little freak. Yeah, but <laughs> they need, they need I don't care. I don't yeah. care, and I will continue to do it. Yeah. Um. Is that was that all your list? Because I was gonna say I can bring up a struggle meal for for me. Yes, please. 
Okay. So in Vietnam, not not so much a struggle meal. We were our family was rather well off. Like we weren't we weren't rich, but we weren't poor. So we were mm. like right in the middle class. But I grew up picky. I'm a very picky eater um as a kid. Um and so I remember one night, like my family had made something that I didn't want to eat, and my aunt was over and she goes, um, hey, since you don't want to eat this and we already cooked the rice, why don't you why don't you eat rice with banana? I was like, what the hell is rice with banana? She was like, no, trust me, I'll make I'll make it. Doesn't a sound that bad. Good. That sounds yeah. good. So she scoops she scoops some rice, slices a banana, sprinkle it with some, I believe it's sesame, sesame seed with sugar or or salt. I don't remember. But you you just mix it up and you just eat it like that, and it's not bad at all. Like I remember eating it, I'm like, that's pretty good. This and then when I saw, like, what were you saying? This reminds me of like the Thai dessert, like mango sticky rice. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah it's sort of like that, but it's rice instead, of it, so it's not sticky. But I remember seeing my cousin, my aunt's kid, and I was talking to him. I was like, "Yeah, your mom fed me like freaking banana rice the other day. It was not bad." <laughs> he was like, "He's like, dude, he's his family is a little more poor than my family was, so he's like, dude, we eat that all the time." Have you ever tried with watermelon? I was like, what? He was like, watermelon yeah. and rice. Wow. Yeah, that's I'm like a little that's, weirder. Yeah, I was like, that sounds disgusting. Mainly off the fact that I don't like the texture of watermelon. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like how it's crunchy. You can't eat that with rice. I just think it's weird. And that it's is a weird too. combo with rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. banana but mixes he, in. Yeah, but watermelon yeah. would be a little weird. Yeah, and he was like, it's so freaking good. And that's, I think that's the weirdest food I could possibly think of from my childhood. I did eat alligator recently, so that was really good too. Alligator is pretty good. Yeah, like, you would, yeah. yeah. You, have, you, want, you want to throw in Brian, or you you want to wrap yeah. up? No, it's funny. It's uh, I'm, I'm trying to think. I don't I don't know that I have as many of those weird ones. Like my my struggle meals were more in college, but I do remember eating. My wife and I have talked about this a lot of cube steak when we were growing up. Oh and like, yeah, you know, who eats cube steak anymore? Right? Mm-hmm. What is that's like steak? like the Salisbury steak. What is that? <laughs> Similar, you know. Is that like an American thing to have cube steak? It was apparently yeah. either that or it was a it was a cheap cut of steak. I don't know. I remember eating a lot of cube steak as a child. Like it's not a lot, is, but I mean, it was one of the things had. This it is came one that in I a mentioned. Can or what? No, no. I mean, you cook it. It's like it's like I think it's just a cheap cut of meat. Oh, okay, okay. Speaking of meat in a can, I did mention this to you before. Manwich. Don't think I could eat another manwich sandwich. I think <laughs> I would puke. Can you explain what a manwich is for our listeners? Manwich is a yeah. sloppy Joe sauce mix that comes in a can that you add yeah. to ground beef. And uh, but I remember being violently sick. Oh, and my see. my family very much remembers me being violently sick as a very small child. Oh, <laughs> that'll do it, man. It's like it's like when you drink the alcohol, you drink some type of alcohol, and you have a violent reaction and vomit all the time. And then you can't I, drink that alcohol. I ever want again. to bring up like, are we gonna end on violent like violent vomiting? Or, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, Listen, I'll... because another one of my topics that we can go into on a future one is being sick stories. Oh, okay, geez. okay, but <laughs> yes, I don't. It, because if we're just going to clear out the fact that we've gotten sick from food, I'll go ahead and tell my experience. It was with lobsters, which is weird enough. Like, I ate a lobster once, and then ever since then, I could not eat a lobster because, okay, it's so disgusting. I was throwing up all the, like, I think for a week straight. And it was like, I went on vacation with my brother. We ate some lobster, and I came home, and I almost felt like I got, like, a stomach virus. Because I it was just like, everything I ate was just getting pushed out of my body all right food poisoning yeah yeah essentially but yeah that ever since then i couldn't eat lobster again but yeah that's yeah. my violently it's sick a, story tough times huh yeah <laughs> if, if you'd like to hear us continuously vomit uh stories and f- <laughs> and facts that may be wrong or right and need to be fixed later or just the nonsense that we continue with do us a favor and rate and subscribe wherever you're listening and tell a friend do you, do you want to tell them about a surprise for next episode or no? Our next episode should be coming out right before Halloween. We are in the works with trying to put together our first video episode. It will definitely not be our new normal, but it will be a special for episode 15 and Halloween. We're going to try and do a video portion that you'll be able to find on our YouTube channel. Um, Otherwise, the audio will come out as normal in all of the regular places. So be on the lookout for that. Also be on the lookout for the picture portion of our website coming soon. That is in the works. If you want to tell us your weird struggle food, send us an email. At, or weird prosthetic story. Or weird, you got a weird prosthetic <laughs> story? Please let us know. Um, you can send us an email at podcast XYZ, that's XWHYZ at gmail.com. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on YouTube, like I mentioned. You can find us on TikTok. And as always, you can go to our home on the web at podcast.com 
xyz.podbean.com. Thank you for listening, and hopefully we will see you, and we will not just hear us, in two weeks. Hey, thanks for see listening, everybody. Later.